Hi, today I will be doing advanced static analysis on our malware, Hanuman, using IDA Pro. First, we will open up the malware with IDA Pro to take a look at its assembly codes. The first thing we will see is the main of the malware, here, we can see that it has three variables declared. And it also calls the function, get main argc. The first subroutine that the main will call is sub 401960. In this subroutine, there are function calls such as get command line A, as well as function call strchar. Followed by a few conditional and unconditional jumps. After that, it calls get module handle A which retrieves a module handle for a specified module. The next subroutine, sub 401250 is called and we will go into this subroutine to see what other function it calls. Now that we are in subroutine 401250. We can see that there are quite a number of things declared over here including variables. This subroutine starts off by initializing the interface of the malware with function calls such as load cursor A and register class A next. It calls WSA startup to initialize the use of WSOC32.dll which suggests that the malware is going to utilize internet and network applications. Jump is taken when the value of EAX is 0. Assuming that we have already gone into the subroutine 40143b, the jump here will be taken when the value of EAX is non-zero. Next, it continues by calling subroutine 401425 which calls a function that displays a message box saying Hanuman alert. The subroutine then ends, and it returns to the previous subroutine. The malware then starts to accept connections to its server and also to print a line to tell you which client number you are. It then sends data to the connected socket and allocates memory block for it as can be seen by the send an malloc function calls. The malware also calls the function get version to check which version of operating system the host is using. If it is running on Windows 95 98 RME, it will run command.com. While if it is running on newer Windows operating systems, it will run cmd.exe, both are the command line interpreter for Windows. It then moves on to creating a thread by calling the function create thread. This function is to create a thread to execute within the virtual address space of the calling process. You can also see that there are boxes with error messages such as double USA startup error in cannot create server. These error boxes are linked to previous conditional jumps that will be taken here if the condition is not met for them to continue on. Finally, this subroutine 401250 ends here, and that concludes the end of our advanced static analysis. Thank you.